Welcome to 3D Mechanical Design. In today's SolidWorks tutorial for beginners, we'll create a 3D piping model using a PNID schematic. This step-by-step -step guide will help you transform schematic diagrams into detailed 3D models. Let's begin by reviewing the specifications and components we'll be working with. Piping Specifications Threaded Piping Class 3000 Components Threaded Cap 2 Inch Union 2 Inch Reducer 2 Inches by 1 Inch Union 1 Inch Threaded Cap 1 Inch Ball Valve 2 Inch and 1 Step by step instructions Start a new assembly Open a new SolidWorks document and select Assembly. Navigate to the Design Library and locate the Piping folder under Threaded Fittings. Make visible the View Origins point. Drag a threaded T from the library and mate it with the origin point. Select the class 3000 threaded T, 2 inches. Open the Route Properties Manager. For elbows, select Threaded Elbow and Confirm Settings. Sketch the route. Begin drawing a horizontal line in the 3D sketch. Exit the sketch briefly to verify angles. Looks good. Return to edit route mode and continue. Insert and position components as per the schematic. Add a union, 2 inch and cap. Add dimensions between the upper and lower pipes 300 millimeters. Between the T and the cap 500 millimeters. Add ball valve 2 inch. On the right side, insert another union, 2 inch, and cap. Set pipe length to 1000 millimeters. Top line components. Add a reducer, 2 inches by 1 inch, ball valve, 1 inch, union, and cap to complete the top section. Finalize the model. Exit edit route mode. Review your model to ensure all components are correctly positioned and dimensions match the schematic. Congratulations! You've successfully created a detailed piping model based on a PNID diagram. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more SolidWorks design tips in our next video.